Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make your beats stutter in Ableton Live 9 using Isotope Stutter Edit. Now, once you have the plugin installed, you want to navigate to your plugins folder in Ableton Live, grab an Isotope Stutter Edit, uh, and make sure your master track is selected, and drag over the Isotope Stutter Edit. Next, you want to go over to your mixer view, insert a MIDI track. Next, we're going to output our MIDI to our master. Because in order to trigger the effects in Isotope Stutter Edit, you have to send MIDI signal to Isotope to trigger the effects using your keyboard. All right, once that is done, you want to select your master track and go to the plugin here and go to Preset Manager. Now, here you'll find the various preset packs, and uh, they have a whole bunch of effects that do different things, but we're mainly going to focus here on cuts and jumps. And what I like to use is basic stutters. I'm going to select that. And uh, if you notice here, you'll see a keyboard. See, these are the notes that correspond with the different effects that you will trigger on your keyboard. All right, next we're going to go back to our arrangement view. And we're going to hit play, and we're just going to see how the beat sounds normal without the effects. You get the point. Okay, so next, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it again while triggering some of the effects. Make sure your track is armed. Pretty cool, right? Now, say if we wanted to record these effects, it's the same way you would record uh, notes that you're playing on your MIDI controller. Hit the record button, hit play, and just trigger. simple now you could go ahead and open the midi clip maybe quantize it a little bit So it's pretty simple and that's basically it and then you would normally export your track as usual with the effects and you're all set and good to go